All right, guys, with the new season on the horizon, we don't know exactly what we're going to be getting with the new season launch, but we will find out more information on the 23rd alongside figuring out more information about Lightfall. But what we do know is the fact that we are going to receive Arc 3.0, just like we had Void 3.0 and Soul 3.0 in the previous seasons. So with that knowledge, you can go on and start getting your character prepared for set Arc 3.0. And the best thing I would recommend doing is trying to get your weaponry up. Obviously, with subclass changes, you're going to completely change the way the subclass is played but you can go on and start working on your weapons and even armor at this point and try and get your builds together so there are some pretty good arc weapons in the game right now that are slept on and i think the number one contender is the sweet sorrow auto rifle so the sweet sorrow is a 720 round per minute arc auto rifle that did come from the previous season so it does have the origin trait land tank this auto rifle is going to be very similar to things like the chroma rush which is a lot of people's favorite auto rifle in the game right now and 720s are just generally the best auto rifles for pv in the game right now as well typically any higher fire rate weapon does its job better it add clearing which is what most primary weapons are for anyway so why should you be trying to craft this gun before next season so if we actually come take a look at our subclass, if we take a look at Voidwalker, we have things like Echo of Instability. So defeating a target with your grenades grants volatile rounds for your Void weapons. It specifically pays into your Void weapons and a Void subclass. Solar also has something sort of like it with Echo of Empyrean. So when you get a Solar weapon or ability final blow, you are going to increase the duration of Restoration and Radiant. So as you see, both subclasses have things that specifically are geared towards their elemental weapon types. The only thing that is different is stasis. Stasis does not have anything that involves a stasis weapon, but who knows, we could be receiving something like that in the future. So with that knowledge, it does seem like all the light subclasses are going to be receiving a used elemental weapon with your elemental subclass or see this benefit. And typically those are some of the best fragments for that subclass so that means you're gonna want to get some really good arc weapons for pve so looping all the way back to the sweet sorrow auto rifle if we take a look at it we can see that it can come with some okay perks now if we actually take a look at all the perks a lot of these are pve aren't the greatest things like triple tap i guess is okay if you're standing on a lot of shots all loading holsters not that bad perpetual motion is pretty good then the other copy have things like demo which is okay vorpal but you're never gonna really use your primary weapon to kill a, a bigger target then turnabout is an okay perk but i would definitely not recommend it so the best things to go for are stats for all and one for all because of the synergy with these perks so stats for all says hitting three separate targets increases your weapon handling stability reload and range for an improved duration then one for all hitting three separate targets increases the damage for an improved duration so obviously the synergy is very noticeable right there if you just hit three different targets you're getting a lot more benefits for your gun specifically a 35 percent weapon damage increase a 10 range and stability increase a 30 handling increase and a 35 reload increase that has a lot of benefits for just hitting three targets and it does last for 10 seconds but since this weapon is craftable it can roll with enhanced traits and it will actually increase that duration from 10 seconds to 11 seconds on both perks so that means you're gonna have 11 11 seconds of both of these perks that are pretty much just buffing all your stats on this gun like crazy and on top of that you have access to the land tank origin trait which says final blows of this weapon grants increased resilience and additional damage resistance for combatants obviously resilience is one of the strongest things in the game now because it does grant you damage resistance so each kill with this gun will give you an additional 10 resilience and a 5% damage resistance as well and obviously resilience also gives you damage resistance so this gun alone getting kills with it will make you very tanky which is very good for day one raids which we will be having this season and on top of that obviously just damage resistance in general is just good because it lets you survive pretty much any content in the game for other recommendations of this weapon i would take minor spec since this is just an ad clearing weapon and on top of that i would go for as much range as possible but obviously go with whatever perks that makes the gun feel better for you the two main things are enhanced stats for all and enhanced one for all hopefully with arc 3.0 we will be getting a similar fragment to what solar and void has and i think this will be a forefront in the meta unless there is a arc weapon that comes out that has a arc related perk which is highly possible if it's something like incandescent but it changed lightning instead that probably will be a better option but for now we don't know if that's coming so sweet sorrow is going to be your best option especially with that land tank origin trade but anyway that's going to do all for me if you guys did enjoy and like to see more destiny content just like this consider subscribing dropping a like and turn those notifications on also if you'd like to be a part of the community and join our discord or follow me on any of my socials all of that will be linked in the description as well every single bit of support from you all is truly appreciated but watching the videos is more than enough thank you all so much for watching this one and have a great day peace Thank you.